Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17. And Grayshot151 here. And today we're here to entertain you once again with another tier video, except now we're doing- you guys like these, no matter what we do. We've tried so many options to make you guys disapprove of them. But yeah. you still keep watching. So, thank you. And now we're going to cover everything that we did not cover yes. in one giant support video. Because w there's enough here that it makes a video, but not enough for two separate videos. By the way, if we miss something, I would just like to make note, it's all it's all my fault. Yep. You can blame me completely. Yep. But at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> so, let's move on to the first item up for bid, which is, again, these are vehicles. Okay. So bas mostly support equipment. But a few vehicles that we also missed in our armor video. So yep. let's get to it. All right. So first up, we have the... Oh, I love this. There's actually a name on here. Yes. The American AA Half Track. Yes. Uh, pros. It has a good... De a decent suppression. Yeah. Uh, it also, good suppression. It actually has some armor piercing ability too, especially yeah. against like a later scout car. Yep. It will It will do some damage. Oh, maybe yeah. even like a Luke's, I It will say. hurt, but... It won't kill it. It's counterpoint it, the front. You can't if the loose gets in front of it. It's weird how you have to drive backwards for this thing to do well. Yep. Uh, but again, you can decrew it for repairs. You can uh, it, again it does shoot down planes. Yep. I don't think it's the best anti-aircraft weapon. It's in not. The game. A, it's it's okay. Yes. But it, I would mark it down to a B because here's why. Yeah. Let's say you want to use this thing to shred infantry. Yes. It costs more than the Russian version. Okay. And while it does more damage. At the end of the day, two for ten shots, and that's dead. It's it's so weak okay. for the cost that at, that you you know want it. So uh, if it could take three shots, I'd say it's A tier. Okay. If it did better against AA, it might even boost to S. But where it is, I'd say eh. Can I honestly? For, but also for cost, yeah. and also what or where would you put the German AA gun? German AA gun, I would actually put slightly up because it can take two shots and but smoke. But it has smoke. Yes. So it has, like, basically a third shot, like, it can evade that second killer shot. Yes. Which is what you want. Uh, also, it can fire from all angles. Yes, like, but control. the problem is the setup. That's the issue. It's yeah. the set up. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not as, it's not as, like, uh, a, it's not a slow unlock or setup system. It is actually pretty quick. Yeah. But, especially with the smoke. But on the counterpoint, and it can't fire on the move. This one can. But you're right. It is, I think, slightly better, and I think has a better kill ratio in terms of planes. Also, yeah, the, I would say it's just based on pure experience. It shoots uh, planes down far better than the American version. Now, I'm looking here, and I'm yeah. seeing this half track. Yes. Um, I think this half track should be A tier as well. Because you can get the cavalry units in. Uh, well, no, that's not. Oh, no, it's the jeep. Not, not the reason. I just say generally that type of half track where you get the. It, wait, is that one with the quad mount, or am I missing that here? That, no, there's an M3 and there's the M5. Do you have the M5? Uh, you mean the mortar half-track? No, not the mortar half-track. The M3. Oh, the Russian version. The Russian version. Nope, we'll just lump them all to one. Okay, so we'll lump, if this is lumped with the Russian, it's A tier. Because the Russian one, I swear to God, for having. Russian one is S tier. The, well, here's the thing. I'll lump it here because it is more vulnerable. Yeah. But, an expression is good. But the thing is, it shoot down, if you want an anti-aircraft unit, yes. that has become the de facto go-to. It will immediately shred any plane that comes into the yes. sky. A thousand percent. It is the best AA in the game. The M3, the, I'm sorry, uh, half tracks fine. I think uh, again, there's like different variations where some deploy art, some deploy equipment, some carry troops. Whatever the case may be, I think it's still fine enough to where it, the the M5 variant is enough to bring it up to A tier. So generally, the A5 will bring it up. You could probably bring the M3 down to B if if we're trying to differentiate. Okay, but I'm just okay. pointing there just simply for the uh, M5. Next up, we have the mortar, which this is the American mortar, right? Yep. So this is a base mortar. Yes. That is outshined by the howitzer. Yes. Has no special abilities, correct? Nope. It's just earlier. All right. I, exactly. I like the exactly. mortar. It's fine, but I think with like. Compared to every other mortar, you'd rather get, like, the Wehrmacht mortar. I, I think, comparatively, it's A tier because it has the counter barrage. Nope. Nope. B tier. Four-man uh, squad. Oh, right. That's... It has a four-man squad. It While it does a counter barrage... Oh, I know it's... what's A tier. <laughs> you want to know what's A tier? Yeah. Uh, you see that guy right next to the machine gun? That's a 120. Yeah. And that is an A tier. If you want S tier, yeah. that. Th this? Okay. You want to, you probably might say, this sounds crazy. Okay, why is the base Soviet mortar better or worse? You want to know why it's better? What? You can get it from the beginning. Yep. It gives you recon. Yep. Which is the biggest thing about mortars. 
you need to be able to hit the target when they're coming in. Yeah. So you just pop a flare, and then you just let the mortar wear down the atta- you know the attacking as they group up. Yeah. You hit the machine gun as he's preparing, or whatever they're forming, you can immediately murder it from afar, okay. or start it. But two, 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 it's a six-man squad. So... It takes it, it. It has more men to replenish. Yeah. So that means you can hold out a little better than the Wehrmacht, which one hit, one lucky hit, boom, all dead. But yeah. it's kind of rare with the normal one. It, I will see Soviet mortars are harder. I mean, like unless you have a Stuka or like just mortar on mortar f- yeah. fair, it's harder to one shot. It's it, good whereas, range, good de- like the one twenties. You, you could make no finesse. Uh, but uh, I, I would say it's S tier because it has the five man squad, and the big thing is if it's on retreat. one, if it's on one man, it can retreat. Okay. So I think that's the big one. With that in mind, I forgot about that. With that in mind, I agree 120 is S tier. But you know what's also You didn't it? put the British mortar on here? Why? It's I, it's an I know, that's placement. That's no no the British mortar. The one they got with the doctrine. It, it's essentially it's the, the American It's mortar. the American one. It's the American. It's, it's still a, trash. Yeah. Uh, unless you're in one v one, in which case, congratulations. Uh, like I said, uh, the can, American, we, yeah. can we throw in the howitzer? Yes, where would we put the howitzers? In Either A or S. Okay. That so, sucker. It, when it does damage, it does damage. Which one's better, the support gun or the howitzer? Howitzer. Okay. <laughs> oh god, howitzer! It ranks up faster. It does better. Sh- it's far more. It does, does far more. This you have to vet five. Yeah. But the howitzer is. I think the howitzer better. every time. Like if I ever see someone get decrewed, you know, decrew one of these things, I steal it yep. because this sucker will do damage to infantry. It hits it. It can also do damage to like tanks. I've seen it do like a hit like the side of a tank and do damage. Okay. Um, it is. It has some good uh, special abilities like white phosphorus. Yes. And while it might not have smoke, at least I don't think it has smoke. Yeah. Again, the amount of raw damage this sucker does when it hits is phenomenal. It will yep. it will knock out a support gun every time. So let's also add in a uh, mortar half track. I think this it, it does cost fuel. Yes. It's only 200 manpower. Can deploy fire. And deploys fire. I think this is at least A tier. Because it does have armor to protect it. Yep. It's highly mobile. My counterpoint to it is I think this is a little bit... Expensive? It's 40 yeah. fuel, which it is a is little... It is a more expensive mortar. Uh, and it would cost you in terms of getting armor out. Yeah, but it's... if you're countering a heavy tier 1 like infantry push, yeah. I think this is a good way to go. Um, so, a lo- wow, already a lot of A tiers. Let's well, let's bring up something that's more B tier. The mortar carriage. Mm. In, in design scenarios, I can see this doing very well. Yes. But unfortunately, and I've there seen are this other squad things wipe. you want to get. But the problem is, it does cost armor. Yes, it can it do very fuel. well. And if the enemy hits you with two AT gun shots, you're dead. So I think it's good in very specific scenarios. Yeah, when you have four of them me... and you want to make the Axis member cry in pain, like. Yeah. I've but then the enemy before. charges with a panther and you lose all of them. Yeah, yeah. So I, actually, do you think this is a B tier or C tier? A B tier. Okay. It's definitely B tier. Uh, the more, the, I'd argue the Wehrmacht one is probably maybe a little bit weaker, but I will defer to you on that one since I don't play Wehrmacht. I, think I, the, just, kill, I, I just kill them, and I've killed them often. So. I think that the reason why they're deployed, and the amount we've seen them deployed, and the fire ability makes up for it. Okay. Um, do we have the mortar? Yes, we have the mortar. This one has the white phosphorus. Yes. Would Where would you would you consider it the same, or would you consider it? I'd put it B tier, okay. because the pack howitzer is the better option. Like, I'd get a pack howitzer in a heartbeat. Okay. Uh, even if the armor, I mean, like, okay, it has armor, but and like, it's not like these aren't immune to mortar fire. They can be killed by mortar fire. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They're, they still can get hit and still die. But like, yeah, sure, you get armor and you don't have to worry about it as much. But I mean, back out so you can always reman that thing. You kind of you can heal. It's, it's yeah. You have different yeah different uh, places where they excel. But for me, I'd always go with the pack out, sir. That's, no, that's a fair point. That's a fair assessment. Uh, next up, let's go with the AT guns. I think yes. this is the next big thing. Actually, no, let's get this half track out of the way because it's really just recon. Kind of, it's a recon unit. There's nothing else to really like it on any other faction. Valentine. Um, we well, gave yes, the, we, we gave the we, Valentine a C because it's it's a tank, but it's primarily used only for its special. This, this is, is designed specifically. It's only 200 manpower and you, five fuel. Gives you cons- constant recon. Yes. So I'd give it honestly like an S tier. Now wait, there is. A catch. It's recon, but it's not recon. You can call stuff in on. It's recon that allows you to see, but not strike. Information is still information, and being able to know where the enemy is. Yes, I you can s- still drop mortars on it. You still can like you get some sight, I- and it has armor, so it can actually take a few hits if they're trying to knock it out. Uh, you can park it behind buildings and hide it. Like, yes, there's a lot of utility. You can't see through buildings. Yes, you can't see. It through- My counterpoint to this is two things. Yes, I hate the fact that it doesn't have a veterancy to it. 
I know that sounds weird, but in my eyes, I think the amount of units it detects should slowly increase its veterancy and allow for additional, like, faster rotation, okay. great, b better distance. I think that is that's, a missed opportunity. Okay. And also, I think that a counterpoint, it is extremely, even though it has armor, it's like a pants it's it's a it's a glass cannon. Yeah, but it's by fuel. Yeah, I, I yeah I understand and with that. Two hundred manpower. Yes. It's so cheap that you're just like, why not? So the Valentine at least has a veterancy to it. This thing does not. And but I, that th but this thing is again dirt cheap. A Kubel costs about the same amount. True, but also I mean, it used to. With but fuel. also this thing has no defensive weapons. The Valentine does. And so does the Kubel. But I'd still th like this is such a great utility. Okay. That I think it excels. I again. At least A tier. I would say S tier because it's what it does. Right, you convinced me. My, my gripe is veterancy, but that's, yes. if that's the only thing, that's asking for something rather than defining what it Two is. So, oh, wow. Actually, we're speaking of half tracks. Let's add the Panzer Grenadier half track. I know there's the LMG one, but I feel like that one's not yep. doing all, right. all great. They did upgrade these half tracks and making them deployable. Yeah. Um, and this one, Panzer Grenadiers. There is a, there was a strat where you got mass. Pans Grenadiers on these. And just for drive. Panzer Shrekking. So, I, I don't think that's really val val uh, it's not valid. viable right now. No, no. So, with the amount of infantry on the Allied, the, uh, in 3v3, 4v4. Yeah. Yeah, infantry and such on the one side. And with the, the prevalence of AT guns, I... No. In a 1v1 or 2v2, I could see them, like, chasing down the infantry. But that being said, this still costs a lot of manpower and fuel to get. So I would put it at CTR. I think it's for a designed role. I don't think it's that specific purpose that you would use it for, but it doesn't excel enough to like always use it. Uh -huh. Whereas like the mortar carriage, support guns, recon, those are things you always get because either they're cheap enough, they're good enough, or you, they're just they fit most purposes. So let's add something else to CTR. I think we can both agree on. Okay. So um, this is an MG34. This MG42, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's put the MG34 at CTR. Yeah. It it's just a, a machine gun. It's a decent suppression. As armor piercing rounds, but is still pretty damn weak. Yep. Um, I think that the Maxim is a better MG yeah, with put it higher mobility and has six men. Yes. So it's harder for snipers to counter. But I've seen rifle grenades do a lot of damage to them. I've seen Stukas knock it out. I mean, yeah, like they're, yeah, they, they are susceptible. Suppression cone is still pretty small. Yep. Although they do have a quicker um, rotation rate, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, where would you put the American? 50 cal, that sucker shreds. Like, no joke. Yes. That will do damage. It does have a decent arc, too. No, by, by the way, when you put them in buildings, they have the same arc, but we're talking about outside of buildings um, for reference. So, would you put this at B or A tier? But it's above B. It's better than the Maxim by far. Uh, okay. It's better. Okay. It de kind of depends. Like, it's Do you arc think is... we should move the one MG down one? No, because the Maxim's still good utility. I mean, actually, yeah, actually, I kind of do. Because, like, you'd want any machine gun but the MG34. The, yeah. the American one is good, and it's something you want to get. But, yeah, yeah it's the, the 50 cal is great. Yes. The, the the option, though, is I might switch the 50 cal with the Vickers. Where the 50 cal goes A and the Vickers goes B. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. You would... Uh, that's where I will differentiate with you, because while the 50 cal is good, yeah. I think the range and the the automatic damage and armor piercing capabilities of the Vickers make it better. Wait, what's this MG? I think I actually have two MGs. For the for, I, that's the Maxim. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, oh wait, where's the Dushka? Far left, there. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got the Dushka. Um, where would you put the Dushka? Dushka, I would put probably... Good suppression, arm, arm person Probably around. A tier. Well, uh, it is more costly than any other it's MG. It's more costly, but that, that it has such a great... It suppresses infantry. It yeah. murders infantry. This fight's another machine gun. It wins. I think the, This fight's an MG34 and MG42. You know, it wins. I do think the best standard MG in the game is... And again, I love the the MG30, uh, the MG42. Let me, let me put that out there. Yeah. But the Vickers machine gun... If you go from just a deployable non-veterancy state, yes. is even is great, and then you add vet one with additional range, it outshoots any other MG. Yeah, like no arguments there. So maybe put that at A tier. It's always a necessity. I put an S tier because every, it, for the British, it's a necessity every time. Yeah. Uh, however, the thing I will say is the American 50 cal. I'd at least put A tier because the AP ability, the fact it can shred through armor, yeah. like it does damage enough to like. 
like a Dishka and that can like hurt a Luke's. Okay. I've seen him shred like Luke's ar go through Luke's armor. Would you want me to move the Maxim up one? Maxim, I would say yeah. Maxim is a good MG okay. solid. Uh, what do we go with the MG thirty forty two though? The MG thirty four. Yeah, I'd say MG thirty four is still a D. It, yeah, it's like it's it, just an MG you grab. It's not because you want it. It's just because you <laughs> necessity. Yeah. The MG forty two though is solid. I'd say a B. It has a good range. It has a good amount of. I will. I, this is the one where I will fight you on it, okay. and I will keep it at A tier. The reason I say this is yes. armor-piercing rounds. Well, those two machine guns naturally have AP. That has to turn it on. And yes, okay. it's better, but it's something you have to activate. God, how many people are going to be mad that we put the MG42 next to the Maxim in terms of, like, tier? It's but yeah, no, I, I love armor piercing rounds. I will say Okay, I that. guess on that note, you could move the... Just because they have it and they always use it doesn't mean it's... Because this one's default. Move the maxim this down, one... Yeah. Move the maxim down to C. Oh, okay. I would say because it's a good MG, but it doesn't do anything unique. It has the sprint yeah. ability, which is terrible. I mean, once you... Well, no, it, the maxim has a better suppression activation. They That's what they have now. Yeah, it's... it's Not... They used to have... Like, yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's solid, but I don't think it does anything like unique to, okay. enough to like be like, oh wow, this is a standout MG. It's like no, no, <laughs> this is 50 awesome. Fifty cal, Vickers, Dishka, MG forty two. Those are the machine guns that like people want. Yeah. If I had a choice between picking up any of those machine guns, like they're all spread in front of me, and I had a choice of picking one, I would pick the top three in a heartbeat compared to the Maxim or the others. Like there's no there's no comparison. Okay. So for that in that kind of mindset, that's why I would choose the Maxim as a C. So let's now yeah. go over. The AT guns. Oh okay. boy, uh, S tier, pack forty three. Oh yeah, shoots um, through buildings. Fantastic the, DPS. The like. fact it shoots through buildings makes it S tier automatically, and yep. it's default. You no know, special abilities, no perks, nothing like that. It'll rip through a building. I've killed enemy armor stuck on the other side of a building that can't touch me, and they complain and rage quit. This thing. I've seen these suckers put on the opposite side of bridges and like <laughs> uh, use to like knock out an army of Churchills. So yeah. like, yeah, it's good. It's, it, it, it ranks up real fast. Uh, For Cat and Warfare, I would put... S tier. Um, yeah, I, I I would put A tier. The reason not S tier mm -hmm. is their viability under sustained fire. They are easily killed. Okay. So that is my problem. But the thing about this is even though... It is that, like, it, it, it does die easily. It's great for ambushes. Yeah. It's great for just surprise attacks. And you've seen videos of these, like, three or four of these suckers just surprising Yeah, the fact it can camouflage, it. it can get behind enemy. I've seen, I've used these things to kill, like, Stukas. Like, I've stolen them and killed, like, Stukas or... You can get them in a building. I used it to, like, kill a Kayusha. You can put it in a building. They you retreat. Can, you can retreat. Yeah, that's a nice feature. You can retreat it. Honestly, with all those features, I put an S tier because it ranks up also relatively fast. And for most of the armor you're fighting... Minus a charge hill or like something with ex, you know excessive armor, okay. you're gonna kill it in a few shots. Like that's all you need with the Rakuten. All right. And the Rakuten is a great support in, in regards to the fact that it can retreat and such. So yeah, you S -tier. have persuaded me. But I will say A tier is the Zis. I think the Zis. Yep. Fantastic. Because of the artillery ability. Um, also, I, at two stars, that sucker ranks up and does damage fast. Like yes. it, it, like two, three stars, and you run from this machine gun. No, uh, and the artillery actually, ability. Is there any negatives you would have with this AT gun? I mean, it's bulky, so it's like you, it's slow to move and such. Yeah. So, but would, the artillery ability. Do you ooh. think it's enough to put up to S tier? Do you think it's as viable as the Rakan Morpher? You know what? Yeah, actually, I do. The artillery ability, especially, that sucker can stop a blob in its tracks. I've used it to, like, knock out Volk. I've used it to knock out Obus of Dawn blobs. Like, it is such a great support unit in general that I would highly recommend it. And it's definitely a necessity on the front line every time. Uh, uh, less right. so, though, is that... I think, what, this is the American one, right? Yeah. It's the British? Yeah. All right, so if we're pointing the American one, I think the American one and the Pac-4 40 are both a tier yes the american one for its extended field and the fact you can get the ap shots yes the uh pack 40 though once you get it upgraded that sucker will just go also and go and stun. go yeah and it can stun the armor which is great um but i i this the artillery ability is nice because while these are good against armor this is good against all targets and yep. that especially helps versus attacking enemy blobs yeah you have a machine gun and they're suppressing the infantry but you want to make sure it's down before the smoke yep. grenade or like the smoke bomb goes yes you just fire this and if there were like three volk squads all clumped up together i cannot tell you how many times i've just 
blown apart a chunk of the infantry yep. and they run before, and then the smoke drops and their whole assault fails in front of, before their eyes uh the, the british one i think is a b tier yeah it's good it just doesn't do anything unique yeah it's faster rotation but that's about it yeah um and i think it's good i think the 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 the, the puny little no, no no that's a d tier I, okay. Here's... Because, because, yeah, it's good against the armor, but, like, again, you get anything with decent armor, and that sucker's, like, psh, it's, like, bounces. Well, like, have when you, I say decent have armor... Have you seen... Well, actually, it's, I take it back. It's... You know why it's at C tier? What? Because recently it's become meme-worthy, where it's, like, people will deploy ten of these, and then will fire at a Panzer four and actually kill it. Like, again, like, stuff like that. Or they'll... they'll act, this thing now is a canister shot. Where um, the cat's currently going through her spots. That's why the light is currently shining on my face. But, um, thanks, cat. <laughs> Just take your time, why don't you? Thank you. Any case. Um, so the big thing about this thing is it does have a cancer shot, makes it good against infantry. So I will say they have they have improved it. It's no longer... Oh, it does? Yes. Okay, it... I'll make note of it C then. Because, yeah, the major problem was it was so weak and so useless. Yeah. Like... Yeah, scout cart, bam, it's dead. But like anything else, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna need like five of these things. I think the but if it has worthiness like a... kind of of it kind of help brings it up as well. But also, it now has anti infantry component and it's anti armor, and they did improve the 45 millimeter guns across the board, okay. which is why like the KV8, its main gun, is actually a bit better now. Okay. So I think this is a good list. Is there anything you would change? Not that I can think of. Right. And I guess if we are going to, like, if you were to, like, keep an idea of, like, where we would put, like, the British emplacements, if we're just going to throw them on here. Yeah. The mortar, I would say, would be, like, a B, especially yeah, now. It's good. Yeah, it's good. And, and you, the fact you can, like, you know, lock it down and take, you know, take damage. In fact, there's two mortars in it is yeah. great. But it doesn't get any higher. At least not, it used to, it's not as OP as it used to be. Uh, the 75 millimeter, eight, that sucker is probably an A. It's less than the Pack 43, but it's not as good as the other version. Yeah. And then the bow for itself, probably an A as well. It's yeah. not as good as it used to be, but it can still shred infantry and lock a point down real nice. Yeah. Uh, but no, that's going to be it for sport equipment. Yep. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, to next time where we do... Uh, probably commanders. Yeah. I would say we'll probably do one for each faction. Yes. Like go through like OKW, Wehrmacht. Uh, you know. So instead of doing the allies and Axis, we'll just put go through each commander or yep. sorry each Every, faction. Yep. But other than that, uh, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching once again. This is yep. Grayshot One Seven and Grayshot One Five One here. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Hello everyone, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, Ace, Chris Bailey, Javi, Jofo, Joey240, Josh, JP Val, Junior Chickas, Little Koosh, Moustache, Only Play Apples, Pyroshock, Rifle, Sebastian Marslick, Sergeant McPain, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, GTA, Jacob Oswai, Nathan Angus, and of course Tim. Thank you guys so much for your amazing support. This has been GrayShot17 and my amazing patrons, and I'll see you guys next time.